What's happening, guys and ghouls? The time has come. The devil's night is tonight. It's Halloween. Halloween. Spirit Week has been awesome. PJ Day was my favorite. What about you, Leo? Ah, uh, for me, nothing can beat All Hallows Eve. Ah, oh, fair. But Spirit Week is not the only event that DIS hosted. DIS also hosted the SCAC Volleyball Tournament. Yep, and our friend Jane was there, and she has the story. And we have a fun segment too as well, in honor of today's holiday. All of this and more on today's Just Stream. Now, I'm not a real big sports guy, but I can't say, because I was there, there was a ton of energy. And I know you played, right? How was it? It was awesome. Everyone was so enthusiastic, very energetic, plus they showed a lot of effort. But I'll let Jane tell the story. Tournament. 24 teams from seven different schools pour their blood, sweat, and tears on the court. I'm at the scene. Let's go check out the energy! So we actually played all our games already. Uh, we lost every single one, but ISB is better than DIS. Cool, well, just to see how other teams play and uh, just learn on that. Winning DIS. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good school. It's pretty big, like a lot of people. I love it. Thank you, DIS. Hi, I'm with our players, and now that we're done with all the games, let's hear from them. My favorite thing to do in volleyball is definitely spiking, because it feels good. So the boys' first team, they went 3-0. and We could have improved on some spots, but I think overall we played very well. Uh, for us, we went through a lot of ups and downs, but we still did 2-1. to one. We're hoping for a trophy next finals. Yay! And that's a wrap! Regardless of the results, let's clap it up for all the players and the ones who dedicated their time on a Saturday! I hope everyone had a great day today. I cannot wait for the finals on November 17th. Thank you! Bye! Go Jets! Go HIS! Go Bears! Go Cougars! Go Sharks! Go AIS! Go AIS! That was some good insights. I loved how she talked to kids from other teams too. Right? And in my opinion, Glider was a true MVP of the well, game. Well, yeah, he was under the sun and under the spur the yeah. whole time. <laughs> He's a real trooper for keeping up with all that. And back into the holiday spirit, uh, yours truly and Jay. Uh, have prepared for us a Halloween segment asking people a few Halloween questions. Hey Jets! It's the day of Halloween at DIS. So in preparation, we have a few Halloween questions for you. Hey Skelly, are you excited for Halloween? What's your costume for Halloween? Any final thoughts? Okay, then let's get right into it. Uh, my name is Mr. Bergen. Uh, George Ballant. And I'm Jen Kim. Justin, Chirayu. Hello, my name is Miss Shin. So, number one question, um, what will be your Halloween costume for Halloween? If you guys want to reveal it early. Don't have to. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? No, I won't reveal it. No. I have virtually no idea. Oh, I better uh, 
keep it top secret. Um, it's going to be tough to top my costume from last year, but uh, at this time, I want to keep it under wraps. Actually, I didn't think of that yet. Um, I actually don't know yet. Okay, so it's it's very niche. It's like the milkman. You know, like classic Halloween monsters like Dracula, mm. Frankenstein, like a werewolf, zombies. If you were a classic Halloween monster, what would you be and why? I said vampire. I like vampires. I think they're cool. And I think they're... I like to think that I'm a little smart and I think vampires are like the smartest. I would probably be a werewolf. Um, then I could incorporate my beard, you oh, know. Frankenstein's kind of dumb, right? Maybe Frankenstein would be up there, so I'd say probably Frankenstein or a werewolf. I would say zombies. Ooh, a zombie. Yeah. That's cool. I didn't uh, think about that. Yeah, no zombies because I hate zombies. I absolutely <laughs> hate zombies. <laughs> Wait, if you hate so zombies, I would like to put do? myself in the zombie oh. shoes yeah, and see, like, yeah. Like, I think I liked the idea of being immortal. I thought that was kind of cool, so mm. I like that one. Maybe mummies? Mummies? Yeah. I don't know if you're a horror movie type of person, but if you are, what is your favorite horror movie and why? Of course, the classics like Friday the 13th mm. or Freddy Krueger, but I would say Hostel probably gave me the most scare. Mm. I don't have a favorite because I oh. absolutely hate horror like movies. Toy Story! Because you see, the big weird baby thing, that thing terrifies me. That is me. scary. That that, is like, scary. bro, like, he discombobulates people. Like, I, I barely know the plot of it, but I'd say either it or um, a silent place, one and two. It was called, like, Pink Shoes, I think. Yeah, I think it's a Korean horror movie. I think I said Paranormal Activity. In a zombie apocalypse, like when zombies, like, attack people and they're all over oh, everywhere. Oh, like a walking dead? Yeah, like walking dead. dead. Yeah. Which teacher do you think would like survive? Or initially, I said that Mr. Coleman would survive the longest because I think that he's a very rational speaker, or a uh, thinker, <laughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. And I think Mr. Coleman would, would immediately be like, nope. And he would like, you know, he would save himself first, right? And I, and I, and I, I admire his rational thought. Uh, it would make more sense that uh, Mr. Zhao would survive the longest. Why? Because he's in, he's in, way, he's in way better shape. I would go with Mr. Archer. Oh, Mr. For Archer. For that same reason. Zhao uses a badminton racket. <laughs> <laughs> That's really fun question. Maybe Mr. Archer? I think I would be up towards the top, um, just because growing up in America, growing up in rural Midwest America, uh, grew up hunting, grew up you know, knowing how to use guns, um, being able to defend myself in that way. Not that I've ever used it on a person, but um, uh, if a zombie comes running at me, I think I would be able to, to take it down. But Others, you know, come from similar backgrounds. I know Mr. Kashub has gone hunting. Um, he's a big scary guy too, so maybe he could just scare them away. <laughs> Mr. Archer. Wrong. None of them. Yeah, that's all the questions we have. Okay, thank you so much. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate you for participating. Thank yep. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, such a great video. I wonder who made this. Anyways, who do you think will survive the zombie apocalypse? Well, in my opinion, I think Glider would. And the reason is, Zombies can tear the flesh and bones of mankind, but the one thing they can't touch is the school spirit manifested within Glider. Yeah, maybe with his determination and intellect, he can overcome any obstacle and be successful. Yep, and Jets, we have a bunch of things happening around campus. For example, tonight is the middle school Halloween party, and we have the STEM fair next week. And the high school Halloween party is that night too. Anyways, I hope you all have a great time in your costumes today and that you eat a lot of candy. Today is going to be awesome. Have a spooky Halloween, Jets. Spiders in my hair. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 In this town we call home. Everyone hail to the pumpkin song.